There is no playbook for a moment like this. Should Donald Trump be indicted and arrested, he will appear inside this lower Manhattan courthouse for arraignment, becoming the first former president charged with a crime. I would expect that the DA at this point pretty much has almost all the information he needs. I think he's probably presented the bulk, uh, if not everything he intends to present to the grand jury, and he's ready to make a decision and move ahead. Security was tight as the grand jury worked away Monday, hearing testimony from Robert Costello, a Trump ally who sought to discredit Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen. Cohen is the central figure in the alleged hush money payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels, who claimed she had an affair with Trump. Ultimately, prosecutors may charge Trump with a felony if they believe he falsified business information for the purposes of concealing another crime. He will have to go through all of the normal procedures that any defendant who is charged in federal criminal court or state criminal court has to go through, including having a mugshot taken. Over the weekend, Trump speculated his arrest could come as soon as Tuesday. He called for protests in the streets. Republicans were quick to claim political persecution, but called on supporters to stay calm. We want calmness out there. Nobody, nobody per violence or harm to anything else. The Manhattan case is viewed as a test of whether a former president is above the law. It's also the least of Trump's legal troubles. He still faces probes into election interference in Georgia, the January 6th attack, and the mishandling of classified documents. I am convinced he's going to be indicted in New York and in Georgia and at the federal level for the Mar-a-Lago documents matter. But as far as what happens next, that's a big question. This is uncharted territory for us in the United States. And Jackson joins me uh, from Manhattan. Jackson, we know security is tight. The NYPD are on alert. Are there specific threats being made? Donna, it's not so much specific threats at this point, but a broader concern about how Trump supporters may react if, in fact, he's indicted. We saw security stepped up outside the courthouse here today. Back in Washington, multiple law enforcement agencies have been meeting throughout the day to figure out a game plan for any possible unrest. And the district attorney here in New York has put out a pretty forceful statement saying that threats and intimidation against his staff will not be tolerated. 